Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make fondue. Just a little simple recipe that I learned. I mean, I have some bread. This is going to be what we're going to be dipping. I have garlic, cornstarch, a little bit of nutmeg. I'll put the recipe in the comments section. I have Swiss cheese. I have a little fondue set I bought on Amazon, just a little inexpensive fondue set. I have green chili wine. You could, probably can only buy this in New Mexico. Green chili wine from Hatch. Put a little spice in it. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the bowl, we're gonna take the garlic, and we're gonna smear it all over the bowl. just to coat the bottom of the bowl. Wow, I can really smell that garlic. So we just want to rub that all over there. Then we're going to turn this heat on. And I'm going to put it on so low. Then I'm gonna add the, the green chili wine to the bowl. It's about a half a cup. Have a little whisk. Then I'm gonna add the cornstarch in there and just kinda stir it up. Get all the clumps out. I'm going to let that heat a little bit. We're going to light this little fondue set with some matches. Get the candle burning. And as that's heating, stir a little more. You can also add pear schnapps to this. I didn't have any, so I'm not adding that in there heat up a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's heating up, so we're going to add a little bit of this cheese in there. And see if it starts to melt. Looks like it's melting to me. And I'm going to use one of these little fondue forks just to stir it up a little bit. It's starting to melt really good. Let's put some more in there. I like this little fondue bowl. It's just a perfect size. Maybe two people. And that's it. Get it cooking in there. Just the perfect size. So I used one and a half cups. 
cups of Swiss cheese. I used a half a cup of wine. About a teaspoon and a half of starch, cornstarch. I put in there. Let's just put the rest of this in there. Almost done. See how quick and fast it is? Stir it up a little more. It's almost done. It's really thick. Get it stirred up as much as we can. Ooh, that's starting to look really good. See, it's bubbling. And all the cheese is melting. You want to make sure that it's not clumpy. You want to make sure that you keep stirring it. And you can use broccoli. You can even put meat in here. Just anything that you want to dip. Celery sticks, carrot sticks. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. Yum. Okay, it looks like it's melted now. So we're going to add this little bit of nutmeg. little bit of nutmeg on there. We're going to turn the heat off. And then we're going to take this bowl and put it on top of here. Try not to get the towel in there. So doesn't that look nice? Especially on a cold evening. This is so wonderful. So you just take your bread and you dip it in here. And then you put it on your plate. Okay, so to use to fondue, there's some rules. Never scoop cheese out of the pot. Don't dip foods with your hands. Never double dip. And don't eat with the fondue fork. It's very sharp. You'll always want to use another, just a regular fork. So what you do is you just dip a piece of bread, take a piece of bread, and dip it in the pot, and then just push it off on to your plate. With another fork. So I'm going to take a piece of broccoli. And I'm going to dip it in the fondue pot. And then I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to push it off with my fork. You can do that with carrots. These forks are super sharp. Super sharp. So I'm going to take the carrot. Put it in the fondue pot. So now I have a dish. So I... That's how you eat fondue. And then you just use your regular fork to eat. See, it's bubbling really good. And I'm gonna use these to create a plate. <laughs>